me and Nas. Well, let's ride tonight. It's the Tower Heist. Russell promised me when he started. He uh, he told me when he started Global Grind. He said, "You you own one percent." And I actually got a piece of paper that says, "I own one percent of Global Grind." This is worth a lot of money. Russell, I want my money. Bro, why can't Russell's not helping other little guys? I know, right? I tried to start a restaurant. He's a vegetarian. He's a vegetarian Russell. Yeah. I started trying to do a restaurant. And, and he wouldn't invest in it. He wouldn't invest in what? it. What? And I said, dude, I'll, have to, I'll come and make you a meal. I'll have the chef cook yeah. you a meal. He wouldn't do it. No. A vegan restaurant? Yeah, so vegan restaurant. You know, he talks about being a vegan and yoga and all this stuff. And meanwhile, he's trying to have sex with a different girl every night. I don't understand. <laughs> How does he get away with that shit? And he's out on Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street. That's why. It's and he's, Wall you know, Street. politics and him and Al Sharpton and shit. And all of a sudden, I mean. Al Sharpton invested in my restaurant. Yeah. I mean, can you believe that? I think he gives them some of that juice, the green juice. It's crazy. You said um, Reservoir Dogs was the close, was close to being a perfect film. Yeah. Is this your Reservoir Dogs? Is this your oh, no, 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 no. Don't go there. I can't compare this to Reservoir Dogs. Um, no, um, this is not a perfect film. Casey's performance in it is perfect. Can I tell you something? It's hard to answer questions about your own movies. So <laughs> interject. It's like, one thing that this guy does masterfully, better than anyone I've ever met, I swear to God, it, 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 it takes a lot of humility to just, just bring together the, be, the best people that you can yeah. and let them do what they're good at and make them feel comfortable doing it yeah. and encourage them and make them feel good. Yeah. And the reason that everybody wants to work with Brad, the reason they, they want to Except you. the Oscars. I had, a, I had to pay to him to do, be in this movie. Well, he got yeah. more than Eddie Murphy and Ben Stiller combined <laughs> wow. in this film. More than <laughs> I get, he, 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 honestly, he makes everybody feel like what they're doing is good. You know what I mean? Even if it's like, um, you know, he does a little breath does a lot of takes. Everybody knows that about him. He uses a lot of film. Sometimes he's not paying attention, he'll still tell you it's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's encouraging. Yeah. It's funny you guys had a lot of fun. So, so how was, can you tell him right now to his face, how was it working with him? Other than him being amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Brett. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Yeah. Thank you. I just told him what it was. I'll tell you. Yeah. I'll tell a story. I'm telling this story. I was just telling a story about yeah. my first, my first experience with Brett. Because yeah. I didn't know what he was gonna be like. Every, everything was. You're great. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be great. And I thought he was just shining me on. <laughs> then I went there on the set, and I was doing it, and he wasn't giving me any directions. But I noticed he was texting after every take, <laughs> and I noticed that Eddie was checking his text, and I was like, he's texting him directions. He's not texting me any direction. <laughs> so I went. I got my phone. I, I was like, why did I miss a call? I miss a text. Nothing. And so I sent him a text. I was like, Bro, what's, up? what's going on, man? How you doing? And he's sitting and I see him, you see him in his chair, he checks it and he goes, Nothing, what's up? Where are you? And I was like, What do you mean? Where am I? I'm in the scene. He wasn't watching me. He, was only, he didn't even know I was there. Yeah, and I, you know what? It's a credit to his talent because I didn't have to watch him because I knew he was going to be good. He doesn't, when I give him direction, he doesn't listen anyway. Mm -hmm. So I just stopped doing it. So I just thought, Okay, Eddie wants direction. I'm going to just text him what my direction is, you know? And uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you what else. Everybody, all the interviews we do, that everyone wants to know about Eddie and how funny he is. He is yeah. funny. He's a legend. He's all yeah. this. But this dude stood there and get everyone thinks Eddie was improvising. Eddie's amazing, right? These things. Brett would come over and go say this, boom. Then Eddie says it, and it's genius. And yeah. He thinks it, it's the return of Rob. <laughs> you got to give give some credit to him because he'd be feeding him live, yeah. you know, like pure yeah. Eddie. Yeah. yeah. I grew up watching it. Speaking so. of Raw, I really want to know, are there any plans to break out the leathers when he when he hosts the Oscars? That, I, I get, how come I keep getting that question? Um, I don't know. I don't think Eddie's going to go back to the 80s, you know, for sure. But he will break something out, and it'll be hot, I'm yeah. sure. It'll be uh, flossy and icy and just really... Uh, It'll be shiny and it'll be it'll be hot. it'll be good. I'm telling you, it'll work. Also, being a Ferrari lover, how was yeah. it for you to to get to have someone destroy that Ferrari? Right now, that Ferrari has been rebuilt and it's in my living room as we speak. That's so dope. it's all good. Is it all good? <laughs> uh, how was it recreating the Thanksgiving Day Parade? That's pretty badass, I, right? There. I got to tell you, that was one of the greatest m moments, and I will never have forget the image of literally Snoopy going down Central Park West, and I would go cut. And then my AD would go, all right, take it back to one. And then all of a sudden, Snoopy would start bagging up down Central Park West. And then it would go forward, and then it would go back. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. It was like when I did Rush Hour 3, I was able to turn the lights on and off of the Eiffel Tower, OK? And for that, it was an equal moment for me. And I was calling all my friends, you got to come down here. you got to come down here. Just because having a parade, six blocks of a parade moving back and forth was just the ultimate as a director. It was very cool. I was pushing to people. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. In the, you did great, too. Like, I found myself really not liking your character at all. What? <laughs> 
No, because after he turned back and went back, I'm like, why is going here? Oh, I found myself not. Yeah, oh, you mean because he? But how do you feel over now? I like you even more. Right now, as a person. As a person. How is he as an actor though? Do you oh, believe him? Yeah, absolutely. You believe him as a concierge though? He wasn't too dumb in the movie. No, <laughs> I, I don't believe he was a concierge, but I <laughs> they did great. They, they're wrapping me up. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> it's the tower heist.